CKFPV, great question. Uh, would you consider using HD0 or Walk Snail if you fly sub 250 only, but already using DJI and analog? Uh, HD0 and Walk Snail are hands down better than DJI uh, in the, say, 65 to 85 millimeter class, okay? There is absolutely no question in my mind that in the 65, 75, maybe even 85 millimeter class, HD0 and Walk Snail are significantly lighter, and that makes a huge difference in quadcopters of that size. When you get to, say, 85 or 95 millimeters, that's where I think a naked DJI Vista is not that much of a detriment, although still a little bit of a detriment. And then anything bigger than about 95 millimeters, anything from about three inch, three and a half inch and up, I think that at that point, the additional weight is not that big of a deal. And you're making your decision more based on which video link you like best. But anything in that smaller class, the, the, the decreased weight of HD0 and walk snail is so huge. Um, mm, did the question get cleared? Well, it's back now. Um, if you're already using DJI and analog, you would you could consider flying analog, right? Makes sense. Um, just keep flying analog. Don't spend any extra money on like HD zero goggles or an HD zero receiver, because if you assuming you've got the DJI goggles, then you don't have goggles with an HDMI input, and you uh, will need to buy a whole new set of goggles, and that's kind of a big deal. Um, but if you are, aren't put off by that, then, uh, yeah, you're going to get a better experience. If when you say sub 250, I mean, if you say, if you mean like three inches sub 250, just keep flying DJI. Uh, 